what I would say to someone considering placing a, their child for adoption is to really explore it and don't um, draw conclusions or make assumptions about what adoption is because everyone has a different experience with it and I think it can be a great way to provide um, a, a really stable home for your child and a loving home for your child. I think there's maybe some misconceptions about what adoption um, involves or that what it is like afterwards and I think you know you hear a lot of um, horror stories about it just you hear the, the bad things but you don't really hear the upside of it I would say the main thing is to really think it through I think through all the details because you're going to be really um, up and down with your emotions um, you're pregnant and you're going to have hormones and different things happen throughout the process and so you'll really want to have um, even something maybe that you've written down that you can go back to um, and refer to and say, okay, this is what I was thinking at this point. This is why I thought adoption was the best decision. And so on those days when you're having a really hard time, um, maybe before the adoption or after the adoption, you can go back and say, no, actually, this is what I thought at this point in time. And this is, you know, going to be the best thing that I could choose. So I think, yeah, writing things down is really important thing to, um, to do. Also, I think writing down goals that you want to accomplish. Um, when I was going through the adoption process and I was getting more and more heavily pregnant, um, I had given myself different things to do. And one of that, one of those things was redecorating my room. And it was even something so small, but it was like a project that I could throw myself into. And so that I didn't constantly dwell on the fact that I was pregnant and having to find a home for my child. It was something that I could, I could almost escape into, and it was a healthy project that I could put my attention towards. And afterwards, I had something to show for it. And so it was like having little goals to set for yourself, things that you can do, you can achieve even during the process or after the process would be really helpful um, because it, you obviously want to um, not forget about who you are and why you made that decision in the first place. You want to take care of yourself and put time and effort into yourself because um, you'll feel a lack afterwards. You will feel like a part of you is missing for a little while and that's normal. Um, and that's another thing as well is to know that it's normal to feel the grief. It's normal to feel like, you know, everything's not okay and to just let yourself go through those emotions, um, to not bottle it in, but to talk to someone about it, I think is probably really important. And just to have people around you, a net of people who know you well enough and care about you and love you that can just say, you know, I'm here for you. And if you need to just eat a tub of ice cream while we watch Netflix for hours on end, that's okay. And just to, yeah, let yourself um, go through the process of the pain and also the healing. I think healing is really a part of um, coming to terms and moving forward in life. And I think to have that healing, you have to really be able to um, forgive yourself in a way. I think for me, I, I really struggled with that bit is I wasn't really willing to forgive myself for a few years. And I could have probably... Um, yeah, I could have healed a lot quicker had I just, you know, forgiven myself and decided that it was okay what I chose and it was the best and to really, yeah, be okay with being okay.